Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest. The Game Boy Color. I'm your Game Master Darius. Last we left off, we had just entered uh, the Dragon Lord's Castle once more, and we are heading up and hopefully maybe out to kick his ass. I don't know. I'm going to see how that goes. I mean, we are... We are not to... Uh, Toot my own horn here. Pretty damn strong. Uh, I say as I'm slowly whittling down my HP. So we'll have to see uh, how well I actually fare. Based on my performance, how about that? We'll see about leveling up some more. I probably should have healed myself. So as Rock Column doesn't pose as much of a threat. Eh, I think we're good. Girl. Eh, at the least though, I'll go ahead and use an herb or two. Eh, just one's fine. This'll lead. Oop. Go here. I go down, and around, and then up. Ah, Dune Lord. Could have sworn we were able to one shot Dune Lord. Maybe only if we get really lucky with our attacks. Alright. And just a straight shot to the right. And here we are, back in his keep. The word dragons. Yes, keep on breathing the fire at me. Oh no, my spells that I wasn't gonna cast. Ha ha ha. Uh, Laura, my beloved. What's. Yeah, I could dance around here for a little bit. Or at the least give it time to... ...get to the final boss. It would make sense that the Dragon Lord keeps the strongest of enemies... ...in the game around him. After all, he is the Dragon Lord. <clears throat> Excuse me. They could. So, uh, this way... There are so many random dead ends in this game though, man. So many. I know that's kind of the point. But good lord. Uh, 350. If we fight more red dragons... I kind of want to fight at least until we level up to 21. It shouldn't be too long. Keep in mind, that was like, what, 1300? Ah, god dang it. Heal more. Dude, you're casting the spells. As long as you don't. I don't think enemies can crit in this game. That said. <laughs> hmm. Probably shouldn't risk it then. Alright. Let's go ahead and give this big bad boy a shot. Or should we? Ah, two more fights against red dragons would do the trick. I was not looking at my screen. <laughs> 22 damage. 23. Those hurt. We'll use just an herb 
and walk it off. I do love how it's basically just walk it off, Chachi. When doing the whole I'm dying dance. And chop. And chop. And that should be good. We'll walk up and down a little bit. Maybe the red dragons are back in the castle section. Everything else is just kind of all over the place. Seems kind of like it. <laughs> Man, if I could just get more critical hits, that'd be great. Really? Hold still. Was that one more fight and then we get to the level? Yep, one more fight. <sighs> that can be some of the most tedious parts. Just 50 experience points till you level up. Urgh. And then you find all the druids. And that is level 20. Ooh, look at that MP. All right. Enough screwing around. If I can't kill him now, a level 20 with only two missing HP and like, I don't know, 27 MP missing, then it's back to the grind. Now, one second though, there is a little bit of a silly. I just want to, uh, prepare for it. Good of you to come, Darius. I am the King of Kings, Dragonlord. I have been waiting, waiting for a man like you to come. Join me, Darius, and I shall give you half the world. Well, will you join me? Oh god. Yes? No? Maybe? We'll go with the yes. Most excellent. To seal our partnership, I will take your sword. Yes. And an overload of sword. Hmm, so you had already found the sword. But none of that matters now. I must give you a gift in return. Darius, I give half the world. The world of darkness. <laughs> Good morning. You were making a racket last night. You must have had a bad nightmare. Yep. <laughs> yep. It puts you all the way back in flipping, um, uh, yeah. Rimbledar. Rimbledar? Yeah, Rimbledar. So, you don't die. You don't game over. It's just, oh, it was just a bad dream. All right. Let's actually do this. Good of you to come, Darius. I am the King of Kings, Dragonlord. I have been waiting, waiting for a man like you to come. Join me, Darius, and I shall give you half the world. Well, will you join me? Nope. What's wrong? Do you not want half the world? It's a fair bargain. Well, will you join me? Nope. So, you insist on fighting with me, fool. You will pay for your stupidity with your life. The Dragon Lord. Ah, it's been so long since I've done this fight. We're doing some pretty damn good damage. He does some pretty good, damn good damage back, but we do have a heal more, so... Ah, sleep though, that's a problem. That's a problem. Oh, he's got to heal more too. That's a problem. 
We're going to want to heal more as well. And no, more than likely, he is not affected by silence. I don't think he has a limitation on how much MP he has either. Ooh. Stop putting me to sleep. My three. Hits me with one more attack and I should probably heal. Yep. Ooh, 31 damage. Take this, Dragon Lord. Ah, he dodged. No, not sleep. Wake up. Wake up, you fool. No. Ah. Sleep is such bullshit. You know what else is bullshit? Me doing this. <laughs> Listen. Oh. Uh, partnership? No. What's wrong? Do you not want to have the world? Nope. Ah. Listen, I just don't want to have to traverse all the way back through this place, man. Okay. It's basically going to be RNG whether or not he's going to put me to sleep or not. Uh, don't cast heal more. Just did so much damage to you. I'm gonna try to stay topped off at the least above at the least above 50. Heal more again. God damn it. Come on. Yes, just do the damage spells. I can take the damage spells. Just one more. Please don't cast sleep. Okay, Firebane. Take a Firebane. Ooh. Oh. I could get something to reduce, uh, prevent sleep. That'd be fantastic. The Dragon Lord has been defeated. We have saved the world. Dragon Lord's form slowly fades. Oh, Dragon Lord's true form emerged. He's called the Dragon Lord for a reason, after all. Welcome to the true final fight. Oh, 52 damage. 39. With just a basic attack. Okay, we want him to spew fire. That is still doing only like 10 damage a pop. We very much can't put him to sleep. I don't know how much damage Firebane's gonna do. None, because he's a dragon. <laughs> okay, 35. We'll do one more heal and then we'll continue doing damage. Come on. You gonna fight me, Dragon Lord, or fight me? Oh, that intense blast of flames is doing so much damage. Oh, and he's just a little bit faster every so often. Come on. Yes. Oh, the intense flames. That's where we don't want to... That's what we don't want. 27 damage. This is this is stacking. This is slowly stacking. Oh, exactly two HP more than he needed to do to kill me. Ah, damn it. Frickin' son of a... Now I'm just pissed. I probably could have dropped a... Drop the save state between the two fights, but man. Oh, come on. Okay, that was a churn of nothing. He does so much damage. Bonk. 
It's the heal more that's the problem when he does when he goes and casts them. No, not sleep. Come on, wake up, wake up. I need to do damage. Especially now that the bastard healed himself. Stop casting sleep, you punk! I hate you. I hate you with all my passion right now. Good. God, they RNG sometimes. Hey, what's that? Do you want to fall asleep for like 10 rounds of combat and do effectively nothing? No? Well, too bad, punk. Come on. Alright, need to heal. What sucks is that I don't have my max HP. No! Freaking! Oh, God. Come on. Okay. That healing variation is going to get me killed again, though. Alright. Form one down. Come on. Alright. I'm a scum a little bit. <laughs> Because god damn it, man. Oh, he's just suddenly attacks. Cool, great. Fantastic start to the... Oh, that's such BS. Ah. Yep, suddenly attacks. Oh god, please don't be a loop. Okay. God, he just does so much damage. I got really nothing to... Help me in the longest run. Just as just more healing. Ow. Do I just cast more heal? Ah, the intense flames suck. Like I quite literally need to keep just over 50 HP because he will just one-shot blast me with the intense flames. I don't think doing the tiny heals is helping me out all that much though. Okay. We'll pull a heal more. Glad I did. Ah. Shit. Come on, come on, get the heal off first. And who knew that such a simple system would be relatively stressful? Oh, the intense flames. Shit, 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 shit. No! Balls! Yeah, I think I gotta get the heal more often than I just save up. Oh! That's the first time that he's done that and failed. Good fire. Good, good. Oh, regular attack. That's not as good. It is kind of dependent on how much... Ow. On how much damage. What am I going to say? Uh, how much... Okay. How much MP I have left, because 42, that's like... Not a whole lot of healing left! Not for what one can only assume to be a long... ...ish fight. Oh god. Okay. I risked it with that. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, wait, that's right. I already used all the... all the... Eh. Yes! Left out of the way! Ow! Come on, Dragon Lord. We're nearly done with this little dance, aren't we? Ow. Come on, how much more HP can you possibly have? Do another heal more. 
Oh, it's at 50. Oh, God. No! Okay. Just a regular breath. Wasn't his intense breath. Critical! Yeah! Ha! <laughs> Suck it! Dar removed the light orb from Dragon Lord's hand. When the light orb was held aloft, a blinding light pierced the dark. Peace returned to the world. Look at that! Poison's now flowers! Look at that! That, that is such a lovely touch. I don't know if that was in the original, but goddamn, that's a good touch. Oh. This is basically just, now you can explore around the place in utter peace. No fighting. No monsters. The world is at peace. Well, here the darker areas won't be. I'm so glad I... I just looked at my MP and I realized, oh yeah, I'm fully healed. <laughs> Could I have gone and repeatedly thrown myself through that castle over and over and over again? Yes. But... Eh. Honestly, level 20 is still a solid level. It's not all the spells, it's not all the abilities that you get. But there's not much more that you need than heal more. There is a bigger batter heal and a bigger batter damage spell. But there's really no uh, point to them really that much when heal more still heals you for a huge chunk of your HP. Oh, man. Such a lovely game, man. Holy shit. Could have talked to other people in other towns. You finally defeated the Dragon Lord. I knew right away. I can feel serenity in the air. It's proof peace is back. You really are quite the man. I wish my husband would learn a few things from you. Listen. Listen. Peace. It's like a dream. I'm in no mood for business today. Thank you ever so much. Ah, oh, man. I can't believe a person could defeat the evil dragon lord. Truly are a hero. I don't know why I gave that guy a nerdy voice. Yeah, this is great. It is pretty good. What a cause for celebration. My wrinkles have deepened from grinning so much. Darius, sir, please hurry to tend to Jell Castle. The king should have gotten word. He is sure to be waiting for you. You're so handsome, you're a real man among man among men. Aren't you the one that creepily followed me around the place for a little bit? Hail brave Lotto! Hail brave Darius! Peace, it's like a dream. No mood for business. Thank you ever so much. Okay. I believe we can go to the king. Y'all like hey king, what's up? Dun 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 and say hey, hello, hi to the king. What you blocking the way for? Fine, defeated the dragon lord. I knew right away. Can feel in the air. Proof pieces back. I think they all have pretty much the same thing to say. Thank you. Made it safe for me to ply my trade in far off towns. Ah, yes. The other evil in the world. Capitalism. Oh, Darius, the ancient legend was true. You bear the blood of brave Loto, who are worthy of ruling this world. Well, would you take my place as the new ruler of this country? But he replied, No, your highness. If I were to rule, I would seek my own land and build my own kingdom. I see. I won't stop you. Darius, take care. Wait! I would like to join you. Please, will you take me with you? Her? Oh, you've made me so happy. Here's Darius's new beginning.
And that was Dragon Quest 1 for the Game Boy Color. Again, I really love the ever-loving crap out of these games. They're simple, but they are effective in telling a fine enough story, or even smaller stories within them. Um, character design is lovely. Monster designs are freaking iconic at this point. And of course, uh, it's just, it's just fun. It's a short enough game for the Game Boy Color version. The SNES version, I'm not sure if it is as short. And again, if you're going to play the NES version, maybe don't, because that is a... That one is good. But its biggest problem is the significant amount more of grind. Like, I ground for maybe a total of a couple of hours in this game, and I was still able to go through the rest of the game just, you know, handily enough, handily enough. And it was funner because of it. Not every game needs to do a whole hell of a lot of grinding to be fun. But uh, there is a lot of enjoyment of the grind for myself. Now that said, I think from after this game onward, I'm probably not going to have the grinding on camera. Because when grinding in Dragon Warrior 1 or 2 and 3, the thing is, is that Two, we have three characters to gear up, to level up, and all that fun stuff. And in three, we have four characters to gear up and level up. So that's that's going to be a thing. Now, if you don't mind the changes of the names, I do suggest playing the SNES version, translated SNES version, if you can find it. Um, it's easy enough to find. Uh. But if you want a quick, easy, fun, little cheerful experience, Game Boy Color version, that's where it's at for me. Ah, are we just going to stay on this screen, or? Oh, we're on this screen now. The end! Yeah, Dragon Quest 1. It was such a fun time to revisit again. I really only wish that it didn't take the death of one of its creators in order to invoke me to play it. Like, it's one of those games that I actually... It's one of those games, one of those franchises I absolutely love, but I've always been a little bit daunted at to play because of how big of a franchise it is. It's got almost as many, if not more, games than Final Fantasy. It's got... A huge fan base in Japan alone, let alone all over the world. It was huge in Japan, man. And I'm I'm still just flabbergasted that from now on any of the uh, any of the art creations we see in the style of Akira Toriyama will not be by his pen. And that is crushing to me. Because one of the things that really make Dragon Quest, Dragon Ball, um, Ariel, uh, the upcoming Sandland, <clears throat> into such delights for me is the art style. And anyone that tells you that it's all about the graphics, no, it's about the art when it comes to a game. I could play this game with the same graphical styling of... Um, Let's say Dark Souls, you know, with the fidelity of it all. And I could see myself not enjoying it as much because it doesn't have the character behind it in all of the... You know, it doesn't have the same character. It has a more dismal world. And it, I don't want to really grind in a dismal world. And the Dragon, Dragon Quest worlds can end up being feeling very dismal after a while, but at the same time... It's, I don't know, it's weird to explain, but it's a quirky enough world that everything is still dismal feeling without it being crushing. So, again, thank you, Akira Toriyama, 
you are a wonderful artist, you are a wonderful world designer, wonderful monster creator. The characters that you make have absolutely are dripping with personality in both their looks and their clothing. God, if only that, if only Kira Toriyama's uh, clothing style for his characters caught on, you know? And thank you for building these amazing worlds. I'm not done yet. <clears throat> I am not done with Dragon Quest. We are going to move on to Dragon Quest 2. I just want to see whether or not uh, it looks slash runs better uh, on the SNES version versus the Game Boy Color version. If not, we'll just hop on back onto the Game Boy Color version. But, yeah. I'll be Dragon Quest 1. Done. Benito. Right, Game Boy game. It's always going to hang like this. But, thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this adventure as much as I absolutely loved it again. If you guys like this series, consider dropping a like, commenting, subscribing, all that fun stuff. Tell me how you were affected by Akira Toriyama. He has his hand in a lot of things, and many people have taken inspiration from his worlds, from his creations. And of course, if you want to support the channel in a financial fashion, I give Beverly links down in the description below. Don't mind those. I'm I'm here to pay tribute to a wonderful man. <sighs> Can't wait to dive more into Dragon Quest now. <laughs> Thank you everyone so very much for watching. And I hope to see you all next adventure. Take care. Cheers.